today I'm going to be pulling carrots from my four raised beds. Stay tuned to see how many pounds we've got. Alright, that's all for that bed. And we got some quite a few carrots. We have some itty bitty ones, we have some large ones. The itty bitty ones will use some broth. But those large ones will definitely bag up and just use as we need them. Ain't that right? Now let's go get our big bucket of greens and take to the chickens. bed of carrots. We filled that box almost entirely up, but look at the size difference in carrots. You got to thin your carrots, and this is why, because you're going to get really nice sized carrots when you thin. You're still going to get your small ones, but you're going to get a lot of nice sized carrots like this. And that is what I want, and definitely will be spacing my seeds out and making sure I thin when I don't space properly next time so I can get very large carrots because they're just easier to deal with in the kitchen. You don't want to spend so much time sitting there peeling carrots that are so itty bitty because it's just it's time consuming. You want them large pretty carrots like that. So let's go and put these carrots on the scale and see how much we got. Alright guys let's see how many pounds we got. I literally brought my bathroom scale outside to see how many we can get. Let's see. Twenty-eight pounds. Twenty-seven nine. We got twenty-eight pounds of carrots here. And that is awesome. Now we just gotta get the process in all these. Alright, that's it for today. We got twenty-eight pounds minus four pounds from the crate. And um I say that was a successful carrot harvest. But next time I'm definitely gonna make sure that I space them out and thin my carrots so that I get those nice big giant carrots because it sure is worth it in the end. But um, thank you for visiting me at Danielle's Little Homestead. Subscribe.